the Honorable Minister of Human Resource Development, Shuri uh, Prakash Javedkar, Honorable Secretary for School Education and Literacy, and Shuri Anil Swal, Professor Senakati, Director of the NCELT, distinguished guests and participants. <coughs> Well, on behalf of UNESCO, the first the stage, I would like to express our the sincere congratulations the, for the, the Minister of Human Resource Development and NCLT in organizing this very relevant and timely the national conference to reflect on innovation in school education. The UNESCO has been working very closely with the Minister of Human Resource Development and uh, we've been enjoying a very wonderful relationship with the Ministry and NCLT. And it is my great, great pleasure to say a few words on the sustainable development goals, especially in the aspect of innovation in education in this the gathering to reflect on the current status, practice, and policy in innovation in school education. We've seen a great development in the education sector thanks to the Ministry of Human Resource Development in India, especially in the aspect of access to primary and secondary education. The last 15 years since the 2000, 2000 World the Education Forum, which was held in Dakar, Senegal, we've appreciated very much about the great achievement in the access in both school and secondary education. India is the world largest the student country and then it appreciates the great the effort by the ministry and the civil societies in supporting students to learn more and more in last decades. Nonetheless, the, we have still challenges ahead. The last, last year in 2015, UNESCO and NUEPA has conducted, had conducted the, the sub-regional study on the achievement of EFA, especially in the South countries. Although we identified a great achievement, the progress in the EFA, but we identified again also the, the great challenges as EFA unfinished agenda. Two of them are really critical. One is the out of school children, and another one is literacy issue. South Asia, it is the largest the sub region which accommodate out-of-school children and adult illiterate population. If you look at India, according to the, the national, su survey, hmm? national Sample Survey Office, the, there are still the 19 million kids are out of school. And as far as the illiteracy concerned, some 270 million people who cannot still read and write. These are the people who are left behind from education, the opportunity, but at the same time, it's a great resource for the nation. It's a great resource if they have the proper way of human development de 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 themselves. So the question is, number one, for us as a UNESCO, I'd like to propose that how innovation can address the issue of EEFA unfinished agenda in terms of out of school children, in terms of young and adult illiteracy. In the unfortunately, of course, it's a huge population due to the huge population, but it is the largest illiterate country in the world. Well, <coughs> the, to address these issues, the world community adopted sustainable development goals in 2015. It started last year, and then the India also de developed the indicators to address and then monitor the progress in education. SDG 4, which encouraged us to ensure inclusive, equitable quality education for all, and also to promote lifelong learning the, for all. So the Professor Senapati talk something about 21st <coughs> century skills, innovation and creativity. He talked about something about critical thinking. He talked about something about the communication <coughs> skills and also leadership. These we call the 21st century skills. 
why we have to reflect on innovation to address 21st century skills? Because the role of education has been changing time to time. In the past, before the Industrial Revolution, the main role of education was to transfer the cultural and social value from one generation to the next generation. After the Industrial Revolution, so-called factory-style education came in, which addressed the great demand of market, market to address market demand in producing the uh, labor force and increase productivity. In that time, the key role of education is to impart knowledge and skills for the people to get ready for the great market demand. But now, today, the education's role is quite, quite different. If you look at around ourselves, the globe, the earth, itself a gigantic classroom. Learners, teachers, students can access to the information they need, knowledge they require, in a very flexible way. Regardless of time, regardless of place, regardless of pace of learning, they can learn. So the question is, how teacher or school can address this changing education paradigm shift. The role of education now is to facilitate learners, not only in school, but also out of school, to learn more, to be, get ready, to get ready for the 21st, the 21st the, uh, global circumstances. We have to address a lot of issues, climate change, environmental degradation, population explosion, and also poverty and hunger. Just academic skills, academic knowledge is not enough in education, in school. We have to impart so-called transversal skills for student learners to think themselves creative, creatively and very innovatively. So in that sense, I UNESCO welcome very much this the national gathering to reflect on innovation in education. The World Bank report is questioning about, about the, the change of the labor market. The, it is warning that 60, as many as 69% of jobs may have a list to be replaced by automation. Human power might be facing such kind of risk. IA is surfacing the cognitive, human's cognitive the functions. In this area, how the education co can help the people, students, to cope with this very rapidly changing world? This is the real question. <coughs> teachers should take a very big role, but teachers themselves in terms of number, in terms of qualification, in terms of quality, it's not enough at all. Some students are much, much advanced in terms of innovation and ICT use than teachers. How teacher can catch up this kind of trend? This is real, real issue of this huge democratic country. So in that sense, UNESCO is very much looking forward to having your thoughts deliberations on how innovation in education can address the issue. Number one is EFM unfinished agenda. Second, 21st century skills. As you may know, the UNESCO published two very big the landmark publications. One is Learning in 21st Century, The Treasure Within, which was the, published in the year of 1996. Uh, Dr. Kalan Sin was a member of the Dirac Commission, which the, promote the four pillars of learning. Needless to say, it includes learning to learn, learning to know, sorry, learning to know, learning to do, learning to live together, and learning to be. So this, the thought, is still relevant in this century. And UNESCO also recently published Rethinking Education. It is addressed the issue of the education paradigm shift. We have a lot of studies, we have a lot of thoughts, but the question is practice, implementation, or interpretation of these reports and thoughts into the work on the ground. 
again, UNESCO think the most important issue is the quality, quantity, and the qualification of the teachers who has who have the direct daily contact with the learners. Well, lastly, the, uh, I'd like to touch upon the in this and uh, applaud the great achievement of India in terms of edu uh, innovation, the, which include the awarding the 1,000 the Innovation Fellowship, and also the, I understand that the setting up the Meta University, which is promoting the multidisciplinary and uh, collaborative learning. We have a lot of the good example and practice and innovation in education in this country. And the UNESCO will be happy to share these the excellent practice and policies with other countries in the larger forum, such as the, the Asia Pacific the Regional Meeting on Education 2030, which will be held next, next month in June in Bangkok. I again congratulate NCRT and Ministry of Human Resource Development to organize this very relevant and pertinent conference gathering. Thank you so much.